A Time Lord could avoid the change of appearance and personality caused by regeneration by focusing the regenerative energies into a bio-matching receptacle, as the Tenth Doctor did with his own severed hand. The hand siphoned off the excess energy that would have changed his appearance while the Doctor used just enough to heal himself, TV, Journey's End, from the injury sustained from a Dalek gunstick. TV. The Stolen Earth. This resulted in the appendage storing enough residual energy to grow an identical Time Lord when it came in contact with Donna Noble soon after. TV. Journey's End. As a result, the Doctor used up a full regeneration, his 11th of 12 overall. TV. The Time of the Doctor. But kept his appearance, allowing him to avoid the usual post-regenerative confusion and disorientation experienced in the past. TV. Journey's End. During the time when he controlled the source of Traken, TV, the keeper of Traken, the master was able to use the source to heal his injuries in place of regenerating, noting that this process was far smoother than regeneration as it avoided sacrificing the healthy tissue in the process, although this method eventually proved short-term when he expended the last of the source. Pros. The Quantum Archangel. The regeneration process could also be delayed to allow healing. The second doctor was shot in the head when confronted by guards on Skybase, causing damage to his skull and frontal lobe, and the subsequent fall broke his nose, jaw, right femur, and collarbone, along with causing some spine damage. He began to regenerate, but an injection of Shiner DNA delayed the regeneration and kept him alive long enough for his body to go into a six-month healing coma to recover on its own, although he was briefly certain that he had regenerated when he woke up. Pros. The indestructible man. When the Seventh Doctor deliberately affected himself with light wave sickness to save the Spiridons from the Daleks, he briefly believed that he was going to regenerate until he retreated to the TARDIS, his body spending some time fighting between its cellular paralysis and natural desire to regenerate until it stabilized in his current self. Audio. Return of the Daleks. When his second heart was extracted by Sabbath and placed in Sabbath himself, the stolen heart created a link between the Eighth Doctor and Sabbath that rendered the Doctor essentially immortal. As his second heart was still beating in Sabbath's chest, the doctor could survive normally fatal injuries, such as having his chest crushed by sandbags or being stabbed in his remaining heart, without changing, although he would go into a near-death state until his body could heal. However, it was unspecified if there were any limits to this connection, the doctor only needed to use it when he and Sabbath were on the same planet at the same time in the same city, and the connection was lost when Sabbath tore the doctor's heart out of himself. Pros. The Adventurous of Henrietta Street, Camera Obscura. The ancient Gallifreyan scientist Artron was able to devise a system of perpetual regeneration where the subject would not need to change their appearance during the process, but even after this knowledge was regained during the time war with the recovery of Artron's matrix print, the Time Lords were never shown putting it into full practice, save for granting the Master, new set of regenerations in return for his assistance while insisting that he limit himself to the standard 13 lives under the usual rules. Audio. Day of the Master. 